to listen to more ritual pastas, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. In a small, old, colonial era town not far from here, there is a graveyard. The graveyard dates back to around the 1650s, and the older graves have remained largely untouched. Due to the small population of this town, it is in fact the only cemetery, and people are sometimes still buried there. During the day, visitors would come by and leave flowers on the graves of lost loved ones, or take photographs of some of the older graves. But at night, like all cemeteries, this place becomes dark and foreboding. There is one grave known simply as the Mirrored Grave. As the name suggests, the gravestone isn't made of stone, but instead polished steel. Despite the age of the grave, the metal remains shiny and lustrous. Some believe that the descendants of the women buried here occasionally stop by to maintain the grave, which seems to make sense. After all, the grave is always beautifully maintained. Others believe it is a community effort, but no one in the community seems to have any knowledge of who's maintaining this grave. Others believe the reason to be far less mundane. The woman buried here went by the name of Agnes Williamson. No one knows much about who she really was, but there are lots of stories, mostly surrounding her unusual tombstone. Some believe she was simply a very pious and superstitious woman who believed having a reflective tombstone would protect her decaying body. There does seem to be a common belief among many cultures that reflective surfaces will keep evil spirits at bay, but having a mere tombstone seems very odd for the time period. Others believe she was a respected woman of the church and that her tombstone was an effort by the community to give thanks for her dedication and charity. Some theorize that she was a woman of class and status that her family paid for such a fine grave as a show of wealth. Many, many, however, believe her to have been a witch, and that her tombstone has a curse. According to this theory, she was a recluse who lived on the outskirts of town in the wilderness. While no one dared admit it, most people in the village depended on her for medicine, wisdom, and spells. However, when the church and local government caught wind of what was happening, they held a witch trial, knowing that she would likely be found guilty. Agnes poisoned herself, making it appear as though it was by accident. However, before she died, she had one last wish. A steel gravestone. The townspeople, fearing a curse, obliged. According to local legend, if one goes to the graveyard on a full moon at night, strange things start happening in this reflective surface. The first time the gazer looks into the surface, they will see themselves as they looked when they were young. Mere toddlers. After pacing around the grave three times and looking back again, the viewer will see themselves as an elderly person on the brink of death. After this, if you are brave enough, walk around the grave three times backwards. If you do, you will see your innermost being, presented to you in physical form. A goodly, kind, saintly person will see an angelic being and will be blessed. A horrible person will see a disfigured monster and will go mad. An average person's results will vary. More often than not, you will see a slightly disfigured, 
if attractive being or an attractive if slightly disfigured being. Stories vary on what exactly happens then. Some say nothing, some say a curse. Most believe that a hag will haunt your dreams, demanding you atone for your sins. Of course, most locals are too afraid to undertake this task. But, imagine you decided to stay at a quaint little bed and breakfast in the small New England town, and the full moon was rising above you. Would you attempt it?